All right, let's start out the names. Um, it says polygons. Now, polygons, uh, they, they, polygons are just enclosed figures. Okay, the smallest or the the smallest number of sides that you can have is a triangle. A triangle. Let's sketch it. You guys can sketch a triangle. Make it as big as you can inside the inside the box. And these are these are called regular polygons. That means you want all the sides to be equal. Okay, that's what regular means. The next one would be um, a square. I think it's easier to draw shapes first. And then after that, what would it be? Um, oh, here, let me write it down. So this is a square. And the next one has five sides. So that's five. That's uh, three. Okay. Uh, the ones that, with five sides is called a pentagon. So when I draw a pentagon, I like to draw like a house. And so I draw the roof right there. And then I draw slanted walls, and then I connect the slanted walls together, and that's the floor. Oh, it's in order, so it's like Yeah, yeah. Okay, the next one would be a six-sided figure, and that is a hexagon. I remember hexagon because it has the X. Six has an X in it. Hexagon. Hexagon. Hopefully I, I spelled that right. Okay, for a hexagon, I draw it like this. I put... Um, I put... Uh, the top and the bottom, and then I draw two points out to the side, and then I connect those two points together. It's a very simple way to draw the hexagon. Okay, now the heptagon, that's the one I have problems with. Um, I'm going to attempt it, but uh, I will probably mess up. So, again, um, let's see. Another student showed me how they did it. They, they do a flat roof, and they go out to the sides like this. Let's see. That would be a three, right? right. And then you do a point. Um, four, right, no, that's, that's a, that's not, wait, that's a pentagon, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need, um, oops, uh, let's try, let's try this, uh, like that, and then like this. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, dang it. Okay, so maybe, um, let's go slightly in, slightly in, and then we do a point. Yeah, yeah, like that. See, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that one works. But that is definitely not a regular one. Hold on, let me press pause on my video here and try to. All right, so George did it. He did it like this. He put a. He he had a roof. Oh no, no, that's right. This is a person's face, and so we have the the head, and it goes straight down like that. And then we have the cheeks. What? Right, right. How's a person's head all sticky? I they mean, have a pointy head. Leave them alone. Pointy one, head. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. Okay, so you have to draw the hair. Yeah, yeah, I was really good. No, you don't get extra credit. I told him about it. <laughs> okay. I told him to do it. I told him. I get the extra credit. So that's your heptagon. The next one I saw some of you guys have is the octagon. And uh, let's draw. This is how I draw the octagon. I, go, I do a straight line there, a straight line there, two horizontal lines, two vertical lines, and you just connect them. Okay, so connect, 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 connect. That's an octagon. Okay. Okay, yeah, that one is, uh, and you know what, I know why I, heptagon's kind of tough for me to draw because we don't see heptagons very often, okay, and I, and I guess if it's odd, then it's going to have a point at the top, odd point, oh, yeah. odd point, oh. that kind of helps with the, the idea, you know, when you're drawing these things, okay, now the number of triangles formed, okay, now this is very important, and I think it's uh, pretty simple to grasp, but you have to see it in order to, to grasp it. Okay, this is one triangle, so we're just going to say one triangle right there. Okay, now this one right here. How many triangles can we form? Four. No, no. Like this. You can't have overlapping triangles. You can't have lines that cross over each other. No, I meant the... So this one uh, has two triangles that we can make in there. So, right, two. This one is already filled in for you, but let me show you why. If you start at one vertice, a vertice is one of the corners and you go to the opposite vertices, like that and like that, I have three triangles in here. Here's a triangle right here, and here's a triangle right here, and then that, the last triangle. Okay, so there's three triangles. All right, um, now, how many triangles do you th guys think is in this next one? Four. Four? How did you know that so fast? Because it's a pattern. I see a pattern. Okay, so let me start at one vertice. You start at one vertice and draw diagonals out from that vertice. Uh, do you see four triangles in there? Yeah, there's definitely four triangles in there. Let me guess. The next okay, one is five. The next one is five, and the last one is uh, six. six. So you check it out. If I start at one vertice and I draw them out, one, two, three, four, and then, wait, wait. Oh, I've got this one. That right there. So there's six triangles inside of that shape. Okay. Uh, heptagon. 
uh, I would draw it right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's five. Okay, um, so it, it's the pattern keeps going on and on. All right, so now this one says, uh, what is the sum of all the angle measures? Wait, right. uh, sum of angle measures. I'm assuming it was the 180. How you know it's 180? Because we are. Oh yeah, we know triangles. Triangle. Okay. Because we just know triangles. Okay, what about um? 360. This one's 360. Add 180 to it. You keep just you keep adding 180. I'm pretty sure. So you you figured out a pattern off of just two numbers. Yeah. With Sam. Uh, how do you know if it works for sure? It, now it could it could work for sure, but um, you guys don't know for sure until you start drawing some triangles. I mean, your pattern could work. Let's let's find out. So if you look at the square, we have two triangles in there, right? One, two. Yeah. So that's um, we have two triangles, and each of those Equal have a sum that equals 180. So you have 180 there, 180 there, and two 180s is 360, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at the next one. This one has three. Right? right. So if you had three um so three triangles in there, that's one, two, three, that's three one hundred and eighties. And how much is three one hundred and eighties? Five forty. Five forty. Five forty. That's right. So yeah, you were right. Good job. So five forty. And so the next one's gonna have four triangles, seven right? Seven twenty. So that's your seven twenty. Yes. The pattern is you just keep adding one eighty, so that's nine hundred. And then last one was ten eighty. Noise. All right, almost done with this big. Noise. <laughs> Have you seen that? Noise. Yeah. No. All right. Um, number of interior angles. Okay. Um, quite simple. You just count them up. How many you got there? There's three, and then four, five. Same as the number. Kind of, of copies sides. the number of sides, huh? No. Wait. Does it? No, not. Yeah, it does. No, that's not no. seven. Seven. Yeah, just, and eight. Yeah, you just missed. I skipped the six. Four, it was already filled in. Okay. This one right here says, if it was a regular polygon, which is what I asked you guys to try to do, in order for it to be regular, all the sides have to be equal. Uh, what's the measure of one interior angle? 60. This one's 60? How do you do that? Uh, you do 180 divided by 3. Yeah, you do the total right here, divided by 3. So smart, man. I know. I'm answering too many questions. Okay. Uh, let me give you guys a minute to fill out the rest of these ones on the, in this column. Go for it. But it doesn't work. All right, so for the square, I give you guys time. Uh, now let's uh, knock it out. Thirty-six divided by four. What will that give us right here? No, no yawning. What is it? Ninety. Okay. Uh, this one right here. Five forty divided by five will give us one hundred eight. So the angles keep getting bigger and bigger. In the interior angles, the the more sides we have, they keep getting bigger and bigger, right? Okay. So what's the, this next one? One, 120? Yeah. And the next one? This is the decimal one. 129.6. Now this is why you won't work. Okay, now it's not 129. It's 128.5. Okay. You won't see that many heptagons because of that. Because there's a lot of other things we're going to do with these shapes. And you'll, you'll see when you guys get to it. What's this last one? 135. 135? Why is there in like a race? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, because I, I want the answers. Okay, now this says uh, the number of exterior angles. Now, this is kind of weird. Like, there's exterior angles. This is how you draw them. Uh, for exterior angles, I, I, I go around the shape uh, clockwise, usually. And you just extend each side. So, like, if I was on the pentagon, and I'm just extending each side right here. I'm going around clockwise. So it kind of looks like a star, like a ninja star or something. Shoot again. Okay. These angles right here, those are your exterior angles. And what I like to do is I like to uh, go, okay, let's pretend you're walking right here. You're walking this way, and then you turn this much. And then you're walking this way, and then you turn this much. You're walking this way, and then you turn this much. You keep going all the way around until you're facing the same direction again. How many total degrees did you turn around? 360. 360. So... That's important to know, because when we come to this, we say this has three exterior angles. What's the total of this, uh, or what's the sum of the exterior angles? 360. Yeah, they're actually all 360. It doesn't matter how many sides there are. You're always going to only turn a total of 360 degrees for the exterior angles. That's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, and eight. And all of these are 360. They always add up to 360, the exterior angles. Not the interior angles, the exterior. 
Okay, so there's a couple of things that you guys need to note down here. This is kind of like, this is the stuff that I think of. I don't remember the formulas. I think of these things when I try to remember, like, oh, what's the, to the, the, the sum of the interior angles and stuff like that. So this says right here, what's the number of triangles formed? Um, I mean, you guys were able to figure these out, no problem. But what, what's, um, how would I know if I just knew the, the shape? Like, if I knew it was an octagon, how would I know that there's six triangles inside of it? What do you have to do? Take the number of sides, subtract by two. Does that work for, like, a pentagon? Yeah. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, it's three, right? So, take, uh, I'm going to say number of sides, and then subtract it by two. Okay? That, that makes sense. You guys all understand that. Okay, then this one right here, how do we figure these ones out? Uh, Didn't we, like, do something with the number of triangles? 180 times however many sides. Add 180. I mean, how many, how many triangles, right? Yeah. So we did 180 times the number of triangles. So I'm going to say number of triangles times 180. That's how you'll figure out the sum of the interior angles. I like that because, so whenever I hear sum of interior angles, I think, oh, how many triangles can I draw inside of that shape? And I just go, okay, for the heptagon, it's, it's, uh, it's 5, and I would multiply it by 180. Okay, um, this one right here, the next uh, little blurb here, um, how do you figure out the measure of one interior angle? Well, you take the total, the sum, divide it by the number of interior angles, and that's what you get. So let's write that down. Let's see. Um, uh, sum of interior. Oh, I, I think I spelled that wrong. Divided by number of sides. Or, I mean, number of sides or number of interior angles doesn't matter because those are the same, right? They equal each other. And the last one, we just say always 360. We already, we already wrote this down. What they say for the angle sum theorem is you take the number of sides, you take away 2, and then you multiply that by 180. That's the formal way to write it. N is the number of sides. Okay, you guys already wrote that. Um, what if you, got, you guys just wanted to find one angle of the regular polygon? Well, you take the, the sum, which is N minus 2 times 180, and you divide that by N, the number of sides. See, I don't like thinking these. I think this part, like, this is making it confusing. I like the other stuff, the stuff that we wrote down prior to this. Remember that. That stuff, I think, is easier to remember. Um, because some people like to memorize this stuff. So I'm just giving it to you. When you read in a textbook, you have to know what it's talking about. This is what it will say in a textbook. Um, exterior angles of a polygon, angle sum theorem, well, they just, they always add up to 360, right? It's just always 360. You don't have to add any things together. You just know it's 360. If you want to know one of those exterior angles, you take 360 and divide it by what? Can you guess? Number of sides. Number of sides, which is N. Okay, cool. All right, now fill out all these names. All right, nine. <laughs> this is the one, these are the ones that you haven't gotten yet. This is nonagon, if you remember. Nonagon. Nonagon? Yeah. And then this is decagon. Is that times number Wait, no. It's Dakotagon. No, it's Dakotagon. No, I think you guys are saying it wrong. Hold on. Sorry, I was confusing that with the... It says Dodecagon. Now, you guys want the 11? It's 11 gone. Oh, yeah. That's what you end up doing anyway.